Good afternoon, bee people. This is Jason here from Bohemia Apiary, and we are going to show you a little device that us beekeepers use to make sure that our honey is ready to be processed. We talk a lot about in our extraction videos about looking to make sure that the frames that we are uncapping when we pull the wax cappings off have the proper moisture or lack of moisture content in them so that we can ensure that it doesn't ferment or spoil. Uh, the, that is really the main reason why honey doesn't spoil is because of the low moisture content. So this little tool is called a refractometer. And what a refractometer does is it uses uh, a basically light and uh, pushes through the, uh, the substance, whether it be water and or oil or uh, any other type of even honey to see how much moisture content is allowing uh, is, is in that particular bit of honey that you have. So what it looks like is it looks like a, almost like a little magnifying glass, but like a standard uh, single magnifying glass in that it has a flat end and a cap that will go over top. And this is just a fairly inexpensive one I bought online. It doesn't need to be very expensive. There are more expensive, more electronic based uh, refractometers, but this is all that's needed. Um, you have to calibrate it to make sure that it's set. So the way to do that is you can use uh, oil um, or you can use water uh, to, to test it, of course. But we're going to also show you what it looks like when we test our honey. Okay, so this is what it looks like when you look inside a refractometer. On the right-hand side is all you really need to pay attention to. You want to ensure that your honey is below 17% moisture, which is on the right. You see that 17.0. So you'll see here in a second when we put different things We'll put a little droplet of honey on it and then show you what it looks like. All right, the refractometer also comes with a little cloth. So you want to make sure that you clean that off really good, that lens, that there's no moisture on it so it doesn't contaminate your sample. You're then going to take and pull some honey out of your batch of honey. And you only need a couple drops. And you're going to put that on the surface of that and spread it on the blue area where you're at. Okay. Then we're going to close the lid of the refractometer and you're going to press it so it encompasses the whole area. You see the honey spread out on the blue area. You can see that on the screen. Okay. You're going to let it settle for a moment to make sure no air bubbles are in the way. And then we're going to take a look inside the refractometer again. Okay. So this is what it would look like now. You see the blue line is above. Um, or below, I should say, the 17% moisture content. Ideally, I'd like to see a little bit less than that, but it's kind of hard in the eastern shore of Maryland here to get moisture levels down below that um, 16 and 15, 14%. So anything 16 and a half to under 17 to me is sufficient uh, to be processed, and we won't have an issue with it uh, fermenting. If it gets up in the, if it's 19% or higher, 18.1% or higher, uh, then yeah, you have some concern. You want to make sure that you either uh, dry out your honey, and there's different ways to do that. We won't talk about that on this video, but I wanted to show you what it looked like and what we use to test our honey to ensure that it's the right moisture content so it doesn't ferment and doesn't have problems within your colony or within your uh, bottling process. So there we go. So that's a refractometer, and we've tested our honey to make sure that it is the proper moisture content. Uh, you'll need to wash this off. Uh, do not submerge the device in water. Just wash the... Uh, the front end off or the front piece, you can wipe it down and you should be fine for the next testing. Thanks for watching, everyone. Appreciate it. Uh, here at Bohemia Apia, where beekeeping is more than a hobby, it's an obsession. Thanks a lot.